Welcome to this video, folks. This is a big moment for every ABAP developer because SAP has published the ABAP Cleaner. It's a open source tool for every ABAP developer to yeah, basically to guarantee clean ABAP code. And the ABAP Cleaner applies up to 60 cleanup rules to ABAP code at a single keystroke. And here right now I show you the official GitHub page for the ABAP cleaner, cleaner where you can get the ABAP cleaner, where you can try it out, where you can install and use it within the IDE Eclipse where you can use it also standalone and so on. And here, if you scroll down, of course, I will put the link in the video description here right now. You can see some, some basic information about the ABAP Cleaner. Basically, as mentioned, the ABAP Cleaner is a configurable tool with the ambition to automate whatever can be automated with respect to ABAP code style. And within this video, I would like to really highlight this great tool, ABAP Cleaner, I really recommend using it and within here we uh, I would like to show you to install the ABAP cleaner shortly explain how you can use it and what great advantages will give it to you in your daily work within our programming and yeah, basically first right now uh, in order to use ABAP Cleaner, there are two possible ways. First of all, you can install it within Eclipse, within the IDE. So therefore, I will put also a video in the video description how you can set up and install Eclipse and how you can install the ADT, so the ABAP development tools because in order to use the ABAP Cleaner, first of all, you have to install the ABAP development tools. But if you uh, if you have installed the ADT, then you can really easily install the ABAP Cleaner. And therefore, if we open up the page once again, and if we scroll down, then right now here within the section requirements and installation, there is one link. And therefore, you have to copy this link because within Eclipse you can really easily install ABAP Cleaner and therefore you have to choose help and then install new software and within here within the input field work with you have to use control V to paste in this URL then you have to select the ABAP Cleaner for ABAP development tools uh, you can leave the other settings as they are then you have to go to next And then, yeah, you, here you get an overview, then you have to click on next once again, then you have to accept the terms of the license agreement. So you finish this. And then in the background here, we can see that the software is installed. Yeah, within here, that's totally fine. You have to click this. Uh, there are some, some bundles will be installed. Then you have to click on trust selected. That's perfectly fine. So, and in order to use the ABAP Cleaner first right now, you have to restart the Eclipse IDE. So here right now, you will be asked to restart it immediately. So of course, we would like to restart it now. Okay, and after restarting, I will be asked to log in again. I can do this right now within the ABA platform trial version. And here right now, yeah, we have restarted Eclipse and now you can see on the source code, those three functions. So clean up with automated ABAP cleaner, clean up with interactive ABAP cleaner, and show read only preview with ABAP cleaner. So, and yeah, basically, as mentioned, then you are ready to use the ABAP cleaner. It's easy as it is. So, in a couple of uh, seconds, I will show you in detail the functionalities and the great advantages of the ABAP cleaner and why you should definitely use it in your daily work with ABAP. And uh, there is also a second possibility to use the ABAP cleaner and that is a standalone version and as mentioned right now here first of all you have to guarantee that you have Java 17 or uh, 11 uh, for example with a submachine or uh, Adoptium uh, Temurine and then you can also install 
the ABAP Cleaner as a standalone version. And by the way, if you have any questions installing Java, I think this is straightforward. There are lots of tutorials out there. Just Google install Java. Um, of, of course, if you have any questions right now, put them in the comment section. And yeah, basically to install ABAP Cleaner standalone, um, officially it is not recommended to use the standalone version. Uh, it is recommended to use it built in with the plugin in Eclipse, but for some reasons, if you're still working with SAP GUI and so on, it can be quite useful to have the standalone version. And yeah, first of all, you have to, to scroll up a little bit and then you have to go to the releases section. So you click here on releases and then of course here you have some explanations um, about the uh, latest version of ABAP Cleaner, but within the assets section there basically depending on your operating system you have to choose the zip file and then unpack it and then you can execute executable file so in our case because i'm using windows i am downloading uh, this version i have done this already so within here there i go to abap cleaner and here you have to executable file and that is what i executed so i double click on this so yeah this is perfectly fine i run it anyway yeah and that is all you have to do so for example i would like to display you directly the advantage of the upper cleaner so i copy a code and basically right now here it will put automatically into the upper cleaner based on my on my clipboard uh, so within here you can see also the differences so within here basically here um, I don't follow the guidelines for clean code so yeah um, this can be can be done within one line of course I can I can zoom out a little bit that you can see this right now but I think the right one is a way better to read and easier to read and within here um, yeah within the right hand side there you have a lot of options and the yeah, possibilities to to change uh, within here and basically you can do exactly the same if we open up um, yeah eclipse right now and within here within the source code yeah you can uh, choose the option clean up with automated other cleaners or control 4 right now here i don't have any code <laughs> but um, then it will be automatically formatted and if you're using control shift 4 then you have the interactive version as you can see also uh, pre in, in the previous shown and here you have yeah some some settings where you can uh, do right now uh, really really useful and within here um, you have some cleanup settings to do so you can choose between two profiles default profile and essential profile and the default profile is basically yeah um, it's it's useful because you have a lot of rules in and essential are just the most important rules uh, you can you can do some changes regarding display incremental search and so on but what is really really great about the ABAP cleaner you have a lot of possibilities to configure the ABAP cleaner itself if you click on configure then you will op end up in here yeah you can create new profiles um, here right now you can see the currently uh, the, the, the rules that are currently in uh, in use and if you click on one then you can see directly some examples what is changing right now so for example remove needless spaces um, yeah you have some difference few um, yeah and this is really really great and if you um, yeah look around for example within the configuration you definitely learn the great features about the ABAP cleaner itself and once again i can highly recommend you using our cleaner as mentioned within the standalone version mm -hmm. Just copy existing code into the ABAP cleaner, um, yeah, convert it into clean ABAP code. Uh, yeah, you will save a lot of time and effort using ABAP cleaner. I can highly recommend using ABAP cleaner, and I would really, really 
highlight and, and, and praise the contributors of the Alpina, especially Jörg, Michael Grassau, uh, Ludwig Stockbauer, Moore and Patil. Uh, great, great people. Uh, thank you so much for, for building such a great tool. I think this tool will help every ABAP developer. And yeah, you should really, really use it within a daily work. And as mentioned, if you like the ABAP cleaner, please hit the like button. If you have any questions left, put them in the comment section. And please subscribe this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.